Here we go, the first uh, few exchanges of Joe Eco's professional career, eh? Uh, for, in, he was on the national development squad a couple of years ago, wasn't he? Got a good grounding. That's right. That's right. Ben talks very highly of him. I'll tell you what, the first thing I've noticed is looking at Joe Eco. Look at the size of his legs. Yeah. Can imagine he's going to be some power in here when he digs those feet into the canvas. It's more like a weightlifter's legs. <laughs> So what an introduction to the uh, professional ranks you're going to get from Mr. Christian Light. Been there, seen it, done it every single weekend. Says it on the back of his shorts there, done it, Mr. Reliable, you know, he's... Uh, nice little combo there from Joe. Like we always say, Luke, isn't it? But the mistake a lot of debutants make against, against Christian is they think, well, I'm going to be the one to stop him and they blow themselves out in the first three minutes. That's, the, that's like skill to fight in these guys, isn't it? Just pace yourself. Yeah. Like you said, Christian knows every trick in the trade and he knows how to wear young fighters down and they come out flashy, he's not bothered, he'll tuck up and then if they do get tired, he will pounce on them. I know he's got a losing record, but make no mistake about it, if he, if he thinks he can stop someone or win a fight and they're too tired in there, he will jump on you and he'll put you under pressure. Yeah, Christian, well, Christian probably won't watch this, he probably doesn't watch his fights back anymore, but I know he got dragged into the office, you know, for the board, uh, but I think we were speaking about his record. So I think he might have a little bit of a fire in his belly, you know, to prove him wrong for, for dragging him in and having a word with him. So Joe might just get a, a bit more of an open Christian than some guys get. He's got a nice style, hasn't he, Simon? He has, he has, yeah. Actually, how old is um, Christian? Oh, he's just in his early 30s now. Is he? No, you've got, to, you've got to admire these guys, haven't you, you know, for coming out sort of week in, week out. And the thing with Christian as well, he doesn't actually take that many shots, does he? You no. never really see him stumbling no. around or about to get stopped. Very, very rarely. Yeah, I, I must have seen him about 60 times, Christian. I think the only guy I've seen knock him out is Kerry Evans. Yeah, uh, right. Got it. Sink one shot knockout, it was. Incredible. Nice right up from Joe Eco there, wasn't it? Well, he's, he's turning round and round, isn't he? He's, uh, he's, he's, on, he's right on his toes, isn't he? For the body shot there, didn't quite come off. Yeah, nice loose style, hasn't he? he, he elusive moves his head. Mm. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Omar Duzeri, who's here behind yeah, us tonight. So. You know, from just up the road. Similar build, isn't he? Similar style. Nice right hand to the body. And another one. Christian smiling there. Well, I bet he must have felt that one a little bit. Yeah, and Joe will be over the moon with that one. That's yeah, his first yeah. round, first round under his belt as a professional fighter. I think you might be right about Christian though. He seems to be throwing a few more shots than he normally does. Normally he's got that really tight guard and he, he's waiting for his opponent to throw the first punch, but he's having a little bit of a go already tonight. Joe Echo's having no problem with it though. So tell us a little bit more about the, the shed, Jim Simon. You know, you've been down there, you've seen how they work. I have, yeah, yeah. I've not been so much. I've not been re recently, but um, it is. It's it's a, a cracking name for it, really. But he's got all the gear there, you know. Um, he's, he's, he's got some of the, the, the good, good machines and that. Um, but Ben, he's he's taken a lot on. You know, he's got a few lads down there now, and I wonder whether he, you know he, he, has got, he has got a lot on his plate. Hopefully, it's not too much for him, but especially with, with Danny looking so promising, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, it does what it says on the tin, really. It's a cracking little place. 
They're the best boxing gyms, aren't they? The ones you, wow. Where it is just basic and you've, you've only got what you need. Yeah, and it's like total comparison to, like, I was at Ricky's, at Ricky Hatton's the other week, and obviously there's, that's all singing, all dancing there, you know, brand new stuff, totally different. You didn't see uh, Sugar Ray Robinson on a stair climber 600, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you certainly didn't. <laughs> all you need is a few bags and a, a hill to run off yeah. and you're all right. Well, you know, Danny Wright um, thinks thinks the world of it. Like, you know, he's uh, always singing Ben and, and the you know and the Jim's praises and that. We said earlier, success breeds success, doesn't it? And with Danny, who we'll talk about later on, having such a good reputation and mm. making a bit of an impact, really, on the North West scene. Yeah, yeah. Other Definitely. people are following his lead, aren't they? Yeah. You know, uh, Kilgan and Rafferty, Eco, yeah. all coming through at the same time. <laughs> Just, it's like it's like Ben said to me for, for the paper like last week. They were they're having trouble getting opponents in the amateurs, you know. So and it's like, what, why is that happening? I mean, you you you're more kind of experienced in this than, than me, John. What why 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 is it that they, they can't match him up in the amateurs so much? You know, why are they having trouble? There's no money in the amateur game, is there? Well, yeah. And uh, why take on a dangerous thing for no money? I yeah. suppose. And if you're in Joe Eco's position, why not take a goal? You know, you're obviously gifted, you've got a talent for something. Yeah. Why not have a goal? You, you don't want to be left wondering, do you, when you get to your mid-30s? Give it a goal, see what happens. Yeah. Nice style Ooh. here, Joe, hasn't he? Switch it in. <laughs> Christian just slaps it. Laugh just laughs, yeah. Calm, he's calmed it down, hasn't he? Just taking the power off his shots and just looking to land. Just don't want to fall into a, not a false sense of security, because he's pretty safe in there, isn't he? But just not fall into a routine where Christian can get a read on him and, and make it a, a, a boring negative fight. You know, Joe's he's got showing some nice angles, but he just don't want to fall into a rut, does he? Just keep yeah. it interesting. Keep, keep well, working on the things he's been doing in the gym. Well, ben, Ben's just shouted there, like, um, you know, keep the jab going. and you know, just wants, you know, keep, keep, wants to keep him busy and that, you know. Yeah, another good round for him. Nothing wrong with that at all. Must be a real eye opener, you know, to go from the amateurs where the other guy is trying to beat you yeah, to suddenly yeah. coming in where the guy is just entirely almost focused on survival and you're having to work for openings rather than work off your counter shots. Must it, be a bit of an eye opener. Yeah, and it's, it's so quick, you know, four rounds like Danny Wright was saying to me the other week because he's obviously going up to six or six rounds tonight. The foot, the swap four round, it's, it's like so quick, isn't it, you know? Can't afford to um, to kind of mess around or fall yeah. behind or whatever, you know. If, if you're not, if you make a slow start and the guy oh, gets, yeah. nicks the first round off you, yeah, yeah. then all he's got to do is once he's got that bit between his teeth, if he can take another one, you're struggling straight away. Nice smile there. Oh, oh, it. Ten seconds. He looks okay. Arms in the air. Second out. Round three. Good guy, Christian. I spoke to him and um, the other famous guy, Sid Razak, oh, for yeah. an article about uh, the journeyman ones. And Christian, he knows exactly what his role is. He, I think he was a, a youngster of about 150 fights when I spoke to him. He's right. had over 100 and 100 odd since then. Yeah, he's a real good guy. He knows his role, and yeah. the sport wouldn't be anywhere without people like that. No, he obviously loves it. You know, uh, he obviously loves getting up there. I, pre I presume he still kind of works hard during the week and that at the gym. Yeah, he was a fitness instructor and I suppose. Oh, was him, it? So is it? Right. He's uh, working hard all the time. What do you like to see from Ekoi or Luke? He's looking good. I like, I like the way he's trying to draw Christian in. And I, I think that'll be good for him as he steps up in the opponents. It, just the combinations he's throwing, really nice, but. Want to see him leading with that jab a little bit more. Working behind that jab. 
and then throwing his combinations. I like the nice little step off he's doing to the yeah. right after he's, he's landing. You know, he's opening up various other things there. It's not an easy thing to do. And Joe's managing to pull that off quite often. <laughs> He's very elusive, isn't he? He's got that style. People are going to struggle to hit him when he steps up in levels. You can see why he's a decent amateur guy. You know, he's got that style, hasn't he? Hit and not be hit. It's very, very mobile, isn't he? Yeah. I think he's going to fight about a uh, light welterweight. I refuse to call it super lightweight. Yeah, I think he's going to be a 10 stone fighter. Yeah. It's looking that way. I think that's what the, what the way Ben wants to go with him. Certainly. It's a fantastic division at the moment, isn't he? Although oh, yeah. it does seem to be sorting itself out, doesn't it? You know, recently we've had O'Hara Davis and um, Robbie Davis Jr. both get knocked off. We've got uh, Tyrone Nurse and Jack Catterall going to be fighting. And the cream does slowly rise to the top, doesn't it? But 140 pound division's thriving in Britain at the moment. Real good. Good, good quality fighters. Yeah, and Tom Farrell's got his chance now as well, hasn't he, in Liverpool against O'Hara. A couple of years away from that sort of thing, Joe, but as you can see here, a bit, fair bit of natural talent, a bit of a unique sort of style, and certainly plenty to work with. It's an eye-catching style as well. People are going to like watching him. I want your opinion, Luke, on what you thought of O'Hara Davis and Josh Taylor. I'm going to look at your face and tell people what you honestly think rather than the PC answer. What did you think of Josh Taylor and O'Hara Davis? The fight or the build-up? What are we talking? The, the result. Taylor was outstanding, wasn't he? Yeah. And I thought Davis had a real chance in that. But Josh Taylor is on another level. Reading between the lines, Luke was delighted that, delighted that O'Hara Davis got his comeuppance. I, I was. I won't lie about it. <laughs> yeah, and I think Tom Farrell will do a job on him as well, but <laughs> we'll leave that one there. Oh, team VIP, we can, we can <laughs> say that, can't we? <laughs> Mark Lyson just telling Christian it's fourth and final round. Good to see Mark back in the thick of it, isn't it? You have to, uh, Hannah, sad, you know, have a sad story about Hannah, but Mark's back in the thick of it now. Can you remember the last decent show we had in Oldham, Matt, uh, Simon? Final round. Well, it's been a long time, hasn't it? I mean, you what, sorry? It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they used to have a few back in the days of um, Ricky, Mike Gomez and Anthony Farnell. They fought a few times in, in Oldham. There's some belters there. Um, but that's going back it's going back nearly 20 years now, isn't it? Yeah. You were only a nipper then, John. <laughs> I'm older than I look. <laughs> I was, I was here, I well remember Jason, was it Paul Silky Jones? I remember Silky Jones fighting here once. Yes, yes. Yeah. In the old sports centre. Yeah. This, this seems, to sort of, it seems to sort of fall in and out of favour all of them, you know. You can go a couple of years without without shows and then they've had a few, they've had a couple just lately, haven't they? Yeah, I think, in and fact, no, do you know what, we've, we've forgotten one. The last big one I can remember was Derry Matthews knocking out oh, Derry, Crawler. Crawler, yeah. God, yeah. Going yes, back four or five years ago, aren't we now? Um, yes, would be, yeah. But it just takes a bit of a bit of local talent coming through at the same time. Mark Efron's definitely got the ability to carry boxing oh, in Oldham now. Yeah, definitely, yeah. He, he told me he's, he's, he's flopped nearly 500 tickets for tonight. I don't know what, whether... You know, I don't know what the capacity is and how many were on sale. But yeah, he's, um, he's flying at the minute, is Mark, yeah. He, is. he, was, he was telling me about the possibility of uh, a big fight at Boundary Park at some point in the future. Oh, you know, right, he he right. thinks he could definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, with Danny and other ticket sellers oh, on the yeah. bill, sell out Boundary Park. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like I say, I don't know what the how many tickets were for sale for tonight, but I think, it, I think it's a sellout, more or less. So Steve will be back here like a shot, won't he? I would imagine. Yeah. Next couple of months, hopefully, or next six months. But yeah, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Let us know what you think of Joe Eco. That was a bit low from Christian. Danny Wright just in the crowd there before he goes over and gets wrapped up watching his uh, gym mate in action. 
not got a one or two, Joe, but he's, uh, he's, he's still okay in there. Yeah, oh, Christian again, again there. Yeah, just put his, let his hands go a little bit this yeah. final round, doesn't he? A couple yeah. of straight rights. Yeah. Give him uh, Ben Lancaster a little smile there, Christian. to be tired in a top shirt, Joe, I, I think. You might be glad to hear it last bell. Nice. It is, it, I think for all these lads, it is a bit of a, a surprise and a bit of a shock to the system the first time you, you're fighting professionally. Yeah. Right. There we go. But he's in the winner's column on his debut, isn't he? He'll be over the moon with that. Yeah, definitely. They'll be buzzing. Thank you. 